I, I'm not buying another Pokemon game. I'm done with the franchise. It's have, n they're not for me. Have you tried Scarlet and Violet by any chance? No, I'm not gonna touch them. Yeah. All okay. right. Uh, it just are they better, Rick? No. Uh, <laughs> they're different. They are certainly different. I think nice. <laughs> maybe we should just be in at this point. Uh, I think sure. It's yeah. Hey, it's the D pad. It's I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. This is six oh, months later. You are God. generally heading west. Is the uh, is the thing? You can go other places. You now have access to surf. Otherwise, west is your ultimate okay. direction. Okay. Hey viewers, um, it's Ben. I'm ben alive. Rudy. Ben is here. Doing ben. my uh, six month check in. I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Turn your head and internet cough. personality, <laughs> still legally an internet personality. Always. Yeah. Uh, you have yeah. to you have to re up every six months, or they take that away. So That's it's important true, that yeah, he's yeah. here today. It was actually the last week before that happened. Yeah. So Ben's hot my deep, take my deep pad license yeah. is, was about to expire. Yeah. So. <laughs> Ben's hot take was that Pokemon sucks now. What yeah. do you think? Yeah. Uh, so so hey, you know, like anyone who enjoys Pokemon, if you have fun with the game, that's totally valid, and I'm yeah. not, I don't want to take that away from anyone if I you enjoy these games. I think but the just big like thing for for for, for the for the product you get out of it, the you have not that caught anything put here. into these games. You may not be is, able to, but you haven't gotten a joke here. at this point. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't enjoyed any of these games since Pokemon Red and Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you like know, X went downhill I was after say Red and Blue. X and Y was okay. X, X and Y was, was cool. Yeah. Uh, I think X and Y, not not a fault of X and Y, but I feel like it was a step down from black and white. Yeah, yeah. Not a fault yeah. of X and Y. Black and white I was think just, just that good. Right, right. Uh, but it's just like, you know, th there's there's nothing n new or interesting going on with these games. They're so, yeah. They feel so low effort. Um, looking at the new ones, like just the technical problems with the game is the like technical things are sad. are still are like, still a big issue. Like for make sure. me feel bad in my stomach, like it's sad. Yeah, you know, I like I have this uh, I have this thing that I always talk about how like uh, you, you know if you you know how uh, they don't really do it anymore, but maybe there's, uh, like in a, like a Rite Aid or a CVS they have like a toy section. Yeah, yeah. But like the toys are all like a little wrong. cheesy, little yeah, Pikachu, yeah, off-brand like, Fisher Price. That Tyco whole style makes me feel like. Kind of like in my stomach, I feel upset. Just yeah, wrong. yeah. Which is yeah. good because two aisles over, they have the Pepto Bismol. Yes. <laughs> so it's like the two for one deal. But it's just like the I don't know. There's something about it because like toys are like it's like a source of joy for kids when you yeah. see them so wrong. Thought, yeah, 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 low yeah, I don't effort. Know. The innocence yeah. of being young so enough know. to literally not give a shit yeah. what your toy is. You're just like yeah, it's just like soulless plastic garbage. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. There was a point. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's that really Pokemon describes Pokemon. how Pokemon feels now. Yeah. The yeah. first time I saw growing up, maybe I was so. like seven or eight. My friend Danny had a power, a red Power Ranger toy where you, if you pressed on the chest, the head flipped yeah, yeah, into the chest those. and the helmet those. came out. Yep. And I felt my brain chemistry change to go. <gasps> <laughs> toys need to do this now. <laughs> 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 All the all the movable arms and right. shit. Yeah. So where's the Pokemon uh, version of the head flipping so into the chest and so coming I, out of the better it, head? It is. It's even like to a certain extent, like mm. all plastic action figure toys are kind of garbage. Yeah. But like yeah. some of them, like a little bit of effort felt like it was put into it. Yep. You know what I mean? And that's black and white. <laughs> Can you do I have catch? a Psyduck. You, okay. you named it Spyduck. Yeah, of course I did. Uh, yeah, I You're think standing on a river. You're just for, standing on yeah, a river. Right? For better or for worse, John is Jesus. <laughs> for, we all thank you so for much. For better yeah. or for worse, <laughs> we I are all named after myths. I think everything changed. Maybe that sounds hyperbolic, but I think everything changed for the for the franchise when they put out Pokemon Go. It was crazy popular, even uh, for Pokemon. Uh, but bad. It's still a bad game. Pokemon Go has it was had its highs like and week. lows. It's kind of back into the valley. People are kind of expecting an end of yeah. service it was in novel, the near future. But yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but, uh, like, I will never forget when Pokemon Go first came out. Everyone was when walking we were in Davis. Outside, doing, yeah. We were just like meeting I, total strangers. I was talking to random people yeah. about Pokemon. I, Ben hey, Mooney, yeah, was talking you to people fucking believe that? Outside. Yeah. <laughs> yes, like, that's Dude, insane. There's a Jigglypuff down the street and 12 people start walking me, that down is the street. insane. It totally is nuts. I went out at night just to walk around to like go hang out in the park to play Pokemon yeah, Go. With total fucking... I and walked just around parts of people. Somerville I had never seen before thanks to Pokemon Go. Yeah. I and, never, and I never would yeah. have. Like, and it was like a couple weeks and then... I, I don't know. They made some change and it was like, this and, is kind of... I yeah. don't know, whatever. But, but so Pokemon <laughs> Go was crazy popular and so they went, oh, okay, yeah. there's something to this. And they made... Pokemon Let's Go, where right. it was like, let's blend some of these things to it. And right. then they made Pokemon Legends Arceus, which was like, okay, 
That it's was more, supposed to be good. I, I didn't really. It's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, I like it. But it's like it's an open world style game. It's a little bit more yeah. run and gun in terms of like your yeah, ability yeah. to catch things quickly. Scarlet and Violet has a similar vibe to that. It's not quite the same, but it's close. Mm -hmm. And like somewhere in the chain of Pokemon Go, Let's Go, Arceus, and Scarlet and Violet, the, you you can feel that there's it's a different generation. Yeah. I mean, for lack of a better term, it's kind of it's kind of like a V three of Pokemon. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Early, early Pokemon next, was its own a new thing. era of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. and like, and, and I and I also just like I mean, you look at the sales numbers for these games. Yeah, outrageously high. Stupidly, I, I mean, cr the money that they're making. So of course, it's they're not, not Scarlet gonna, and Violet was the best, yeah. the best opening Pokemon's ever had. So of course, they're not gonna like, why like why bother trying any yeah. harder? Because like, like just make all that's the money, thing, you know? right? It's it like yeah, like, from a from a company planning standpoint they're not even wrong really cause right they, yeah yeah from a business perspective yeah it's like t makes perfect sense yeah. i completely get why from the dollar bill standpoint they look at that and go obviously this is what we got to do yeah. and it's like i guess that's what people are telling them they want yeah but at the same so, time you know. like pokemon was doing really well before they did black and white which was like a huge departure by focusing so much more on like character and story and i'm hoping so scarlet and violet does have some story to it. It's decent. Uh, I will admit, I fell very much prey to. So you have essentially the gym. The gym challenge is part of the game. So you have eight gyms, uh, and there's an elite four, and there's a Pokemon League, and all that stuff. Wow, what an innovation! I know, but in addition to I that, I don't even care. Like that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. So that's, so in addition to that, bones. aside from okay, you've got your eight Pokemon gyms with their eight different types. They also have two other things you do that are similarly sized to that. Uh, there are five. Bases for the for the local like bad guy team, and you have to do a totally different style of battle to get through there. Where you're throwing your Pokemon out, and they're auto battling Pokemon from these okay. trainers as you're running through the base. And is like, is it fun? It's it's okay. It's not. It's I think it needs a second like a, that another. At least from what you're saying, yeah. sounds more than just a gimmick that we have been getting from Pokemon games. It's it's like what was Sword and Shield is like. Yeah, Sword big and Shield. Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. And to be fair, they do have uh, terastalized Pokemon, <laughs> which is like another new gimmick yeah. of you terastalize. I'm probably not even pronouncing that right. Fuck man, who localizes? Essentially, this shit? essentially what? they grow like this weird oh, crystal oh, thing sorry. out of their head, and it changes their type for the rest of the battle. Terastalized. Yeah, yeah. Terastalized, and like it, it adds a different dynamic. It's not great, but like I like it better than Dynamax, honestly, because yeah, yeah. it Dynamax adds something. Was Laziest. Yeah, fuck. there's more to it than that. What if it was um, big? <laughs> <laughs> but there's and like fucking Sun and Moon's like, what if you could do like one really strong move? Oh, the Z yeah. moves annoy the Which shit out of so me. Which is so bad because the Mega Megas Evolution were okay. Mega Evolution was perfect. Mega Evolution was a great idea. Right, but after that, they're like, well, we have to put a gimmick in every game. Yeah, now. it's like we gotta change the gimmick. It's like, no, 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 you can just make Mega Evolutions of older Pokemon and keep bringing new yeah, ones in. That'd that, be fine. That was a new idea. That was maybe you could argue a little gimmicky. It was. Gimmicky oh, totally. The, it was at the first generation when they introduced it. But you know what it but did? But you make it like a quote unquote evergreen mechanic. That yeah, is, it gave you, you new Pokemon. Upon. Yeah. It gave you new Pokemon to an extent, even while using your old Pokemon. Yeah. Mega Gyarados had different types, yeah. for example. It's like, that was cool. Dynamax doesn't do that. Terastalize these, does that like, without anything else to it. You could take all these completely underutilized Pokemon and like give them something cool. Yeah. Uh, the other they thing gave too, an evolution. Yeah, yeah. They gave an evolution to, to Dunsparce. Uh, to Dunsparce know, finally. In the <laughs> new one. Stop giving. Da -da Dunsparce. Yeah. The Dunsparce. Yeah. It's just a longer yeah. version. Is that right? Which I kind of. It sounds like Ben it. designed that. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally <laughs> like. Someone was like, okay, what can we do to troll this Pokemon <laughs> even yeah. more? But what I really want to do... What if more Dunsparce? Yeah, just dun, 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 Dunsparce. Instead of designing, like, 50 to 100 new Pokemon every Damn. generation, just go back and fix the shitty ones. Yep. We have, like, 700 yes. Pokemon that will never be used in anyone's team. Yeah. Find a was way it, to make more viable Pokemon. What, what was after hmm. Let's Go? Let's Go was then followed by... Uh, was that Sword and Shield? Oh, that brain. might have been Sword and Shield after that. I forget which I order Sword and so Shield. Because Sword and Shield was, was the, had the whole controversy where like they didn't have like the Pokemon right. transfer Sword system. And Shield, Sword and Shield, then Let's Go, then I think was. Oh, okay. Is that what the, that was the order? And, and it, whatever it was, was like, that? Sword and Shield was like the first Switch full Pokemon game that wasn't a Let's Go game. Yeah. Because Let's Go feels like a 
like an let's go was kind of like a cute and, gimmicky Pokemon Go inspired yeah. remake of Yellow. And what I what I had said at the time, and I'll keep saying it till I fucking die, yep. is they should have just like reset the entire fucking thing. Like, don't pull in these old Pokemon. Yeah. Like, re reset it. Would you get I, just insane? A thousand, a thousand fucking. Pokemon. Yeah, we're now over a thousand. How many of them are good though? Like ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I, I, I hate to keep harping on black and white as being the fucking second coming or whatever, but like for black and white, until you beat the game, you will not see right. Pokemon that didn't come from black and white. And, uh, it felt like a brand new. From scratch, Pokemon. Game. Yeah, I was gonna cool. say something. Yeah, but I, I liked it, was, it a lot. But I think I Granted, was about to be wrong. I have also, I, I have also held so. firmly that the Pokemon, that the Gen Five uh, Unova decks was basically just let's remake the Kanto decks again. Like, yeah. there's so many one to one right. pairings there, but yeah. like, it still felt they fresh. They should have slowed down. Like, you want to introduce you know, like ten to twenty new Pokemon to like have some some and chase like bring back ones that haven't too? been around in three four generations. What? Like. And it, yeah, do that and like bring back Pokemon that haven't been around in three, four yeah, generations. Yeah, yeah. Give them the spotlight again. Them. You know, take you your. Know? I don't know. Well, so like, they're on the <sighs> precipice now of a chance to do that. They've they've the three DS and Wii U eShops are gone, so like you can't okay. do anything with those anymore. Which means that over time, everything from Gen three through Gen like seven are going to kind of get slowly phased out. Yeah. And we're going to be left with essentially the Switch games forward. So Sword and Shield, Let's Go, Scarlet, Violet, and Arceus, I think are the only ones. Or, and Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. So like, which annoyingly means that they are at some point probably going to re-remake Gold and Silver and oh, potentially yeah. even... Honestly, I'm still no of the more opinion. Original ideas. I'm still of the opinion that the Switch Two, whenever they do that, should have a 3DS slot as well. Like, oh yeah, just yeah. for just yeah. for having that library work. But like, but They'll so probably eShop it instead. Yeah, I, th I like. I don't know. It feels like Pokemon's kind of it's picked a new direction. Which, like, I get if you're like, all right, we've been doing the same thing for 20 years now. It's is kind Dark's, of stagnating. Is Dark Symbol supposed to be like an angry eye? Yeah. I think kind of. It's actually oh. a little bit asymmetric if you look really closely oh. too. Never. Oh, but so that. anyway, sorry. you have five enemy bases. They all have different types, and they're different types from the from the gyms as well. Uh, each of those ends with a battle against. There's a Pokemon that's basically a giant Mad Max style car. And it's got different variations that it has that does all these different... It's, it's kind of neat. It's a very speed-oriented Pokemon. I'm sorry. Car? Yes. It's a very speed-oriented Pokemon. A ah! lot of its stuff... A lot of its stuff... <laughs> it's, it has moves that build up its speed, and then it has moves that trade speed for stat boosts or, like, really devastating attacks and stuff. It's like, all right, it's... It's a neat, different idea yeah, at the but very it's least. A fucking car. It's a game the about other, monsters. The other five, there's, there's, a, there's the third set of stuff. Is there are five? I mean, I knew there were cars when they were yeah. talking about Scarlet Violet because the legendaries. Were, one was a motorcycle. There are, there are five Pokemon. They're similar to the Totem Pokemon from Sun and Moon. They're just yeah. five really large, boss level versions of certain Pokemon. They can are I, the, they are the other five remaining types. So all eighteen types have like a thing going on, which is kind of neat. Can I catch here? Uh, which route are you on? 218. 218. Uh, no, you caught a Magikarp here. Wow. Swell. <laughs> well, maybe it became Apep, so... It is Apep. All right, then. Worth it. <laughs> I guess that is... That's uh, not so bad. But so, uh, uh... Those ones... The the reason I save that for last is, like... Kind of a spoiler if you haven't played Scarlet and Violet. Uh, like, not a huge one, but... So you beat the first Totem, and there's this guy who, like... All of the these three different quests essentially have like different main characters that are kind of involved in this. There's this one guy who I think is like the son of the scientist of the area, and as you, you're you're on this quest to find Ooh, these yeah, um, these herbs, these like special herbs that are hidden in caves that these Ooh. totem Pokemon are around. And you're like okay, and he goes and he's like ah there it is it's the whatever herb and he plucks it and you have your like weird motorcycle style Pokemon that's the whole, whole thing but it's like it's yeah. basically a big dog is it a 70s drug trip uh no but what it does is he that's goes all like Pokemon has ever been yeah he's like oh finally I found this and he's like he seems really intent on like finding these like what's going on here and then he use he throws one of his Pokeballs and out comes this giant like Burmese like St. Bernardi kind of dog and it just lies there and it, it's barely moving and it just kind of like grumbles and makes like moaning sounds and after you do that, and like he feeds it a sandwich that he makes with the herb or whatever, and, and he finally like makes a little like yip yip noise, and it's like oh my god, he finally speaks. He hasn't spoken in in the in months or whatever. 
You find out after like the second or third of these, he's like, yeah, my dog got really sick, so I've been going on this quest around the world to save my Pokemon's life. And it's like, oh no, that's so much sadder than I was ready for. It's oh, something. Shit. It's, I mean, that's more than fucking, I, I know people like Sword and Shield, but yeah. like, Jesus Christ, you were Sword not so involved basic. in the story. Yeah, it actively keeps you away from it yeah. in some spots. That was the point where I gave up. To the point that up, I didn't understand what was happening. Like, I will usually play uh, devil's advocate for, for yeah. stuff where I'm just like, maybe it's going to improve, maybe this will come around. The point where I feel like I gave up on that game was where you 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 finish, like, the seventh gym or whatever, yep. and Spire's then there's an explosion from the big huh? central city, and the champion shows up and goes, hang on, you stay here. I'll go check this. You have to go finish your gym battles. And it's yeah. like... Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. All the story happened off screen. It was bad. It, We've like, talked about it a on. lot. Yeah. Um, is Firespin good? Uh, uh, Firespin is like a bind style move, I don't isn't think, it? But it's good. It's good if you run on like a defensive Pokemon that you who can like tank and like yeah, you stall don't, it out. I don't think I want to delete any of these in favor of that. Uh, what's Flame Wheel again? Just a physical, it's just a pretty okay. good sixty. I mean, Flame Wheel's probably gonna get yeah, probably not beaten at some point soon. But, but oh, Infernape, yeah, you know, Infern Infernape's like a glass cannon kind of. So, so you don't even want to sit out there for long anyway. Well, it's not super glass cannony, but yeah, but yeah. It'd be something if you, get, you had a Pokemon that wanted to set up like uh, Stealth Rock and like spikes and is defensive. Like you could start with a Fire Spin. You're ready to yeah, just on sit like there. a Pokemon that can't do anything to that Pokemon, so they're stuck there for a couple turns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and like it hey, might have been good, but I really liked my two fighting moves. I wasn't willing to part with. Yeah, them, those are so. those are good ones for sure. There's I always the like move Fire rememberer really good, yeah. if I need it. Um, learner, I think. Now that we've been working for like 16 minutes, do we want to order food? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna come back next time, yeah. and maybe we'll have made a decision on that. All right, love See you. Ya. Bye.